So this is my first video in a series of the process of using a continuous glucose monitor to hack your blood sugar. And the first stage is really important, and it's the one that almost everybody skips if they're doing it on their own. Because this is the stage where you're using your first sensor, which usually lasts around 14 days, and during this period, you are just collecting data. The mistake most people make is they jump in with the first two days of data and go, oh, how can I lower this? Or this isn't working. I'm going to try berberine or apple cider vinegar. I'm going to start fasting or doing keto. Wrong, wrong, wrong. And you'll learn why over the course of this series. The first thing you need to do is sit back. You're the scientist and the subject and you just collect data. You're just going to let the days come. You're going to do what you usually do and see how your blood sugar responds. What does my blood sugar look like overnight? Hmm, that's interesting. It's a little high. Let's see how that plays out. That's the kind of thing you're asking. You're not asking what's going on. How can I fix this? What can I do differently today? No, no, no. You need to collect data. You need to see how these trends change over time or stay consistent over time. So you have some data so that during the next stage, you can start experimenting with what is the minimum effective dose of change for you to optimize your blood sugar.